at Corn Tortillas. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Chloe. And you won't believe how fun and easy it is to make your own corn tortillas. So we're gonna need the following ingredients. Two cups of masa harina, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and one third cups of warm water, four teaspoons of vegetable oil and vegetable oil spray. We'll need the following equipment. A medium bowl, a rubber spatula, two dish towels, a ruler, a quarter cup measuring cup, a spatula, a 10 inch nonstick skillet, a large plastic zipper lock bag, the circle will come in handy later, scissors, and a clear pie plate. But if you don't have a pie plate, you could use another skillet to press the tortillas. So we actually have to shape and cook these tortillas one at a time. So that means this is a perfect project to do with a family member or a friend. What are you guys making? Tortillas! In a medium bowl, we'll mix the masa harina with a rubber spatula. Layla, can you add the salt? We're gonna mix that all together until it's totally combined so we can't see the salt in the cornmeal. Masa harina is a special kind of cornmeal. In Spanish, it means dough flour. Now we'll add the warm water and the oil. We'll use that rubber spatula to mix everything together. So after we get all of the dough so that it looks pretty much the same and there's not a lot of dry spots of cornmeal, then we're gonna start kneading the dough. What does kneading mean? Kneading is when you use your hands to really get into the dough and bring it all together. You're using the heel of your hand to push the dough together and your fingers to make sure you're getting all the dry ingredients. Masa harina is a different kind of cornmeal than you use to say make cornbread. Before this cornmeal comes to the grocery store, dried corn is actually soaked in hot water and treated with a chemical called calcium hydroxide. This process is called, you ready for this? Yeah. Nixtamalization. Can you say that five times fast? Nixtamalization, 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 nixtamalization. Nixtamalization is what gives corn tortillas their signature toasty corn flavor. Now let's see if our dough is ready. Take a golf ball sized ball of dough, roll it into a ball, and then gently flatten it with your hand. Now check around the edges. If you see any big cracks around the edges, then your dough is too dry and needs some more water. Looks pretty good though. So let's add our dough back into the bowl, and we're gonna put a damp dish towel over it just to make sure that our dough doesn't dry out while we're working. Now let's get ready to shape and press our tortillas. Use scissors, cut all the way down the side seams, and we're gonna leave the bottom seam intact. Now we're gonna open up the bag, and we're gonna spray the inside of the plastic bag with vegetable oil spray. Next, we're gonna scoop out the dough, and we're gonna make a nice, even, level one quarter cup. You're gonna roll it into a ball, and I'll keep this covered up, the remaining dough, just so it doesn't dry out while we're working. And then we're gonna place the dough ball right in the middle of the circle, and then Layla's going to fold the top of the bag over the dough ball, and you wanna make sure that there are no wrinkles. Then we're gonna use a pie plate to press down on the ball dough and flatten the dough into a circle. So you're gonna push down, and you're also gonna rock in a circle until we get a six inch tortilla, and I happen to know that that printed circle is six inches. All right, now that we've shaped our tortillas, We've got to cook them. First, we're going to spray the inside of a 10-inch nonstick skillet. Layla, you want to do that for us? Now we're going to heat up the skillet over medium heat for two minutes. When your skillet is ready, peel back the top layer of the plastic bag. Then you're going to put one hand on top of the tortilla, other hand under the bag, and flip the tortilla upside down, and then peel back the second layer of plastic. Now you're going to flip that tortilla right into the hot skillet, but be careful because it's hot. And now we're going to cook this for about one minute until the edges start to dry out. We're gonna use a spatula and get underneath that tortilla and flip it over, flip. Now we're gonna cook it for 45 seconds on this side until the edges start to brown. We're gonna flip it one more time, Layla, and this time we're gonna cook it just 15 seconds until we see a little puff in the tortilla. You see a little puff right in the middle there? So now we're gonna transfer our tortilla to a dish towel and cover it up to keep warm. And then we're gonna keep going with our remaining dough we're gonna keep shaping, pressing, and cooking until we make nine more tortillas. Turn off the heat, it's time to eat. Don't buy these at the store. Check out our website, atkkids.com, for a bunch of different taco and topping recipes. 
all of which are great to put in these tortillas.